All right, Shalom. Wong. This is Harold Wan Ban Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Kaw Halayim, Le Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Ha'arakah Kodash, Ma'ama. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Agwatim, and Agwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. This is going to be a quick prophecy update. Um, things are heating up. Uh, a World War Three update. As we know, uh, we're going to hear wars, rumors of wars. Uh, the, the decline of the daughter of Babylon, also known as America. Uh, the assembling of these foreign nations like Russia, North Korea, China, Iran, all coming together, Turkey, the BRICS nations. And now um, you have red lines that Russia put in place. They say, yo, look, if you don't go into Ukraine and get close to our borders, we won't attack Ukraine and uh, annex, meaning join Ukraine unto Russia. Well, they pushed up against the borders of Russia. Immediately, um, Russia responded, started attacking Ukraine. So it's a provocation. Now, Russia said, hey, man, don't give them missiles technology that they can attack Russia with. America did that, and France, <clears throat> and other countries in the EU. They gave the weapons to Ukraine. Ukraine used, uh, started using those weapons. So Russia said, hey, y'all start giving them um, higher increased technology and, and uh, more strategic missiles to use on Russia directly and Russia finds out well Russia going to go nuclear America did that so next thing you know Russia shows up on the borders of America going to uh, Cuba brought uh, nuclear subs Navy ships right on the borders of America and is now as we speak uh, threatening to supply missiles to other proxy nations just like they just like America's doing with Ukraine on the on the doorsteps of Russia Russia can do the same with those proxy nations that want revenge on America on the doorsteps of America nations like Cuba nations like Mexico that still want Mexico still wants LA to belong to Mexico California um, then you have Japan with Hiroshima and Nagasaki what America did during World War II they still want revenge for that Russia's looking to uh, push them and support them in their in their revenge just the weak saying let, let the weak scripture say let the weak say I am strong then you have North Korea which uh, Russia signed a, a defense deal with Kim Jong-un just the other day all right um, they could supply North Korea have them invade South Korea which is American territory they can have China, they can supply China. China can make his own decision, really, because they're running things. And they can uh, go into Taiwan. So it's like a tit for tat that's about to happen. Well, this just happened. Then they have, now Russia said the red line is this. Do not send missiles to Ukraine and have them use them on Russia. Well, that just happened. It says Russia blames the U.S. for its barbaric Ukrainian attack on Crimea. All right, and Crimea is like a, uh, a Mer uh, Russian peninsula, or Russian peninsula um, between Ukraine and uh, Russia. All right, let's, let me see, let me show you the map. All right, so here's Ukraine. Here's Crimea. Now, somewhere along these beaches, um, an, a 
attack happened today. All right. Now, here's Russia. Well, the tip of Russia. Part of Russia, right? So Crimea is important to Russia, man. All right, it says here, Russia blames the U.S. for its barbaric Ukrainian attack on Crimea, basically a proxy attack using Crimea, Ukraine to do it. And they summoned the ambassadors, man. They're like, yo, we need to talk immediately. The, the Kremlin, which is Russia, the capital of Russia, Gog and Magog, the Kremlin vowed retaliation Monday after the deadly strikes on the Russian occupied peninsula. See that? So Russia occupies Crimea. And you haven't really heard. Fuck it. You haven't really heard Crimea in the news lately. But now you will again. Alright, so um it was an attack on the beach, man. Cluster bombs was dropped on children at the beach in Russia today uh, was it yesterday. Alright, a a demonstrator holds a Crimean Tatars flag during a rally. Uh whatever, I don't know what that is. Russia summoned the U.S. ambassador and vowed retaliation Monday after blaming Washington for a deadly strike. See, Biden administration. For a deadly strike <clears throat> on a strategic port in occupied Crimea. So they were doing a strategic strike in occupied Crimea. Claiming U.S. supplied missiles were used in the attack. The, the, the strike left at least four people dead and more than 150 people injured. And this is the second terrorist attack that happened on Russian soil involving America. Uh, actually, three. They had another one this week, too, that was at a, um, some type of church, an Orthodox church or something like that. So it's like three three attacks on Russia now, terrorist attacks, and they and America's name keeps popping up. The strike left at least four people dead and more than 150 injured. Damn. And one of the biggest attacks on the Russian annexed see, the Russian joined peninsula in recent months. See, this is crazy, man, because um. You can see the you can see the uh, the card they're playing. So now they can use uh, fear tactics. They can use uh, what is that? Um, what do they call that? False flag attacks. All right. So they can use false flag flag attacks uh, and blame Russia. Meaning what? Homegrown terrorism. And they got all these migrants here. You got spies here from Russia. You got sleeper cells. You got cyber attacks that could happen. So America just crossed that line, man. The red line that Russia keeps lying down, they keep crossing it. Russia's defense ministry said four U.S. provided Army tactical missile systems, also called attackums. Uh, rockets were intercepted over the city of Sevastopol, but fragments from the fifth rocket led to numerous casualties among civilians on the ground. All flight missions for the American attackums, operational tactical missiles are entered by American specialists based on the U.S. So whoever sent the uh, the coordinates and uh, the operations for this missile to be shot, it was America that shot that that uh, ordered the trajectory. All right, American specialists based on U.S. own satellite rec reconnaissance data. The ministry said in a statement, 
therefore responsibility for the deliberate missile attack on civilians in Sevastopol lies primarily on Washington, D.C. So not even, not only were the missiles from America, but the order was given and the trajectory to where it was supposed to go was from America. And the order was given from D.C. Which supplied these weapons to Ukraine as well as the Kiev regime from whose territory this attack was launched. NBC News could not independently confirm what types of weapons were used in the attack. They said it was like cluster bombs. Alright. It was used in the attack. And it says, uh... The U.S. has been providing Ukraine with military aid to defend against alleged, really provoke Russian invasion, which started in February 2022, so two years ago. The Biden administration recently gave Ukraine permission to use American weapons to strike inside Russia. All right, and then immediately after that, Russia shows up on the borders, the east coast of America. Not only 90 miles out, uh, but it was really 60 miles out with submarines. So that's real close to Miami and uh, Key West. Um, okay, so now, um, so they're using American weapons to strike Russia. And America's taking part in it, actually controlling, steering the horse. Let's see what this is. The White House... I don't even care what the White House got. <laughs> you know what they're going to say. Right. The Russian foreign minister said Monday it summoned U.S. Ambassador Lynn Tracy over the attack to reiterate that Washington bears equal responsibility with Ky Kiev for this atrocity and that there will be retaliation. Whoa. It's about to go down, man. That man from keep reading, man. Mikhail Raz Voshaev, the city's Moscow installed governor, said two children were among the dead, man, and that 151 were injured, and of which more than 80 were hospitalized. They talking about shrap shrapnel, man, from cluster bombs blowing up. Sitting on the beach, and you know they got the eat them, you know, uh, burnt Edomite skin out there, and they out there, and they burnt uh, bikinis and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, um, all skin, <laughs> shrapnel flying around. The governor declared Monday a day of mourning in the city and said he has been visiting the injured in the hospitals. Russian President Vladimir Putin called him immediately after the attack and expressed his condolences to the families of the victims. All right. The governor accused Kiev authorities of striking on the sly, being slick, man, sneaky. At a time when many residents were returning from church and the celebrations of the Orthodox hol alleged holiday, or uh, they were on the beach with their children. See, that's why the Lord jacked their ass up. They were celebrating the Holy Trinity Day out there. <laughs> and the such thing as the Holy Trinity. It's the Most High, His Son, and the Spirit of Truth. That's it. You know, Holy Trinity. So, you know, that's the Lord bringing judgment over there. His deputy, Alex Cooligan, also told Russian state agencies, TASS, that uh, many among the ch injured were at the beach during the attack. All right. So, all right, the word I want to focus on here is barbaric. Russia blames the U.S. for its barbaric Ukrainian attack on Crimea and they summoned their ambassadors man that this is going to be a war but, you know more reason for war 
Now, um, America is to blame. They all pointing the finger at America, making America what? A gazing stock. The Lord is casting filth upon this place. Now, barbaric. This is the word for barbaric. It says sav savagely cruel, exceeding brutal. All right, so brut brutality or brute, or brutishness, barbarous, vicious, fierce, bestial. All right, cruel or brutish. Well, so this was a brutish, brutal, barbaric response from America by uh, targeting these people on the beach and dealing with the children. All right, well, um, this is scriptures in Nahum 3 and 19 because the scriptures call America the hammer of the earth. All right, doing the bidding of the West, the EU and NATO. Uh, Nahum 3 and 19, there is no healing of thy bruise, man. So there's no healing this place, America, financially, militarily. All right. So this place is falling apart. It says thy wound is grievous. So the the wound that Russia is going to inflict on America, it could be through a cyber attack, it could be through uh, terrorist attacks, it could be through uh, completely dumping the dollars. Um. You know. So they, you know, everything Russia is doing right now is basically destroying the dollar, you know, helping, helping to destroy the dollar. So their wound is what grievous, man. And so the, what's inflicted on America, well, what's inflicted on Russia is healing up. What they inflicted on China is healing up. Anything they inflict on these nations is being healed and helped by the other nations. But America is going to have no help. Then they're, they're not going to be able to heal the bruises from the blows this place is going to take real soon. All right. Once Russia finally responds for crossing the red line, once China responds, once Iran says there is no healing of thy bruise, thy wound is grievous. All that hear the brute of thee shall clap the hands over thee. See all the nations according to Revelation 18 that hear and see the destruction of this place and the, the, the brutal response from Russia and the other countries. When they hear that, they're going to clap their hands over this place. Right? All that hear the brute of thee, see? Since thou hast not hated blood, blood shall pursue thee. Let the weak say, I am strong. That's what these nations are doing. So all that hear the brute of thee shall clap their hands over thee, man. So they're going to say it's success successful attacks when they come when they uh what when they counter re, um, attack all right america's brutal onslaughts there is no healing of thy bruise thy wound is grievous all that hear the brood of thee shall clap the hands over thee for upon whom have not thy wickedness passed over continually See that? So the wickedness of America has passed over all these countries. So the Lord, the scriptures say that, Habakkuk chapter 2. Since thou hast spoiled many nations, many nations shall what? Spoil thee. And thou shalt be for booty unto them. Alright? So, for whom have not thy wickedness passed over continually? So this is more wickedness from America. Dropping bombs on a beach. Just, just, just shooting them anyway. It's like... Oh my goodness! They're going to they're going to hear about this now. They got certain laws in place, national laws, uh, policies in place, treaties in place. To uh, what do they call that, man? So they don't get caught up in the war crimes or you know. Um. Well, Russia's not going to have to worry about that because all the nations see it. They see what. Israel, those Israelis uh, are doing in Gaza and committing war crimes, crimes upon humanity. America is doing the same thing, and they just document it. The same thing they did in Iran, document it. 
So when they respond, they're going to have the legal stance to destroy this place with no repercussions. So Isaiah 13 and 17. So instead, when the nations hear the attack from Russia on America or whatever nation they use, people, the, the other nations are going to clap over it. All right, the brute response. Isaiah 13 and 17. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against thee. See, the Lord is stirring up the bear, stirring up Russia, getting them mad. All right, bringing them back from that to that old Soviet Union mindset. Um, in that World War uh, Two mindset. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. See, they don't need no financial help. They don't want no money, nothing from America. They want. They're going to want to just see this place destroyed. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb, and their eyes shall not spare children. See? Right now, you see how Russia is attacking certain places. He, they're evacuating people out of Ukraine, children. They might catch some uh, casualties of war. But they're at, at uh, mostly, they're evacuating areas, getting children and stuff out of there. As soon as the war started, you saw Russia uh, telling about a lot of Ukrainian Russians to go ahead and go to a certain area. So, um, the Lord is stirring up Russia. And, and they're not wanting money or riches. It says, what their bows, their missiles, are going to dash the young men to pieces, man. Not just shrapnel. They're going to dash the people to pieces. All right on the beach in the neighborhoods in the suburbs out here in america and they shall have no pity they're gonna have no pity they're gonna be brutish too in their response on the fruit of the womb man so no pity upon children or babies their eyes shall not spare children man so their satellites and their their fighter jets when they're shooting those missiles and their navy ships and their submarines uh, they're not going to spare children. They're going to become part of the target. And the Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, man. See, at Babylon, America is, is the glory of the people over there in Europe, of, in the West. Of which someday they're going to they're be ashamed to be tied to this place, man. <laughs> Uh, so the glory of kingdoms, man. Right, the glory of the Chaldeans. The, there you go. The beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when Yahweh overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. So yeah, man. It's gonna be like that. This place is gonna be a, a damn desert of lava. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. And what will happen is the Arabians in the ancient times, they would make tents and markets on your borders or on the beaches. So it represent businesses and travelers. Well, that ain't going to happen here in America anymore. Where traveler, travelers usually go and business people go to the beach, that ain't gonna happen either. Soon it ain't gonna, right now and re, real soon it's not gonna be safe to be at the beach. You got shootings going on, you got terrorist attacks uh, in the midst. You got migrants showing up on the shores. You got pollution, bacteria warnings out in LA and on, of course certain times along the East Coast. You got extreme heat, and you got Russia at the border. So anything go down, <laughs> anything go down, man. But the scriptures say that they shall clap over thee when they hear the brute, the brutal response from these nations, when they have no pity upon the fruit of the womb, and their eyes 
uh, don't spare children. All right, the same way America uh, is being barbaric to these nations, they're going to get the same response. With that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom. Stay focused, stay in the spirit, uh, stay in the prophecies. You know, don't become offended. And uh, believe, man, because we're almost out of here. You know, there's a lot of prophecies that got to happen, but it's right at the door. With that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.